So welcome to today's Culture Kitchen. And today we would like to talk about the idea of face and saving face. So is there anything that you'd like to say about this one, like in terms of saving face? Do you mean that um, during the class, if I just directly criticize you, you, it will not mean that I'm losing my face. Yeah, so it's a bit like embarrassing or shaming, right. particularly. Yeah. Could you make an example in Western culture? Then I probably want to make a comparison. Sure. Well, it's not really something that we have strongly in Western culture. So, um, but so for example, when I've lived in some countries or visited some countries, I have said something or made a joke, and it has upset people. It's like I've humiliated them or made them feel uncomfortable or sometimes angry yeah. or they feel like I'm attacking them. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, does that mean if in public I am the speaker, then I cannot always make um, such embarrassing expression or just to make people be upset? Well, sometimes it can be something relatively simple and not necessarily trying to insult people and yeah. just make an observation, but they they feel it's an attack, that I'm attacking them sometimes. So, um, for example, if I were... Well, if I was to say, for example, if somebody would ask me, do you, do you like this food? Uh, it happened to me once in one context in Asia. Some, I was asked, did I like a certain kind of food? And being a Westerner, I don't think about face because it's not a value we have. So I said, no, not really. And they, <laughs> they were quite upset that I didn't like that particular dish of food from their country because they felt not liking their food or saying I didn't like their food was shaming them. And um, yeah, it made them lose face. Why you just want to eat with your Chinese friends, or be, uh, just that you mean that uh, the people you eat with is actually from uh, China or Japan or Korea? You get sort of that main face. Yeah, it's like sometimes I would say something and I didn't realize. Or, for example, um, if I was to talk about something which is from that culture, if I didn't like it or I, you know, didn't think it was great, or I, then sometimes it could upset them. But I mean, here, for example, we would expect people um, not to like the weather <laughs> in the UK or not necessarily to like the food here. And, you know, I make a joke about our food and weather and that's very typical, so. Do you mean if, yeah. We get dinner together tonight, then after your cooking, yeah. I would criticize that, no, I don't like the food, or I don't like the way you eat. It would be more such as, for example, if I cooked you something like, uh, or if I cooked food and there was different things, and I was to say, how do you find mashed potato? So, and then say, to be honest, mashed potato, I'm not, I don't, I'm not a big fan of mashed potato. I don't think it's, yeah. I can just but, directly say that. Yeah, yeah. I won't lose my face. No, I don't think so. I think it's, as long as you say it politely. Would, would you, do you like the mashed potato? And say, to be honest, it's not, it's not for me. Oh, um, I... If you like this food, it's disgusting. Then that's, <laughs> that's yeah. that is rude in any culture, I think. But here to say, like, it was more when I was leaving a particular country and they said, oh, did you like this And I, when you stayed? Or even when I left the country and somebody from that country in my, I met abroad, they would say, oh, did you try this? And I said, yeah, did you like it? I said, to be honest, no, not really. Um, it was too spicy for me or something. Like, oh, why don't you like it? Maybe you, you didn't try this, 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 this. And in the end, they... Uh, uh, yeah. Well, well. It wasn't food they cooked. It was just a general food. That one dish. Yeah. I suppose in some Eastern countries, 
if you just say um, it is not my taste or I may not be the big fan of spicy food, I just suppose that to may think is a little bit、um, embarrassing because it sounds like they're losing their face. They're、mm. probably gonna say, "Well, it tastes good." Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's quite、uh, more spicy. Just spicier than for me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there's a way to do it, and I think one of this is why having grace and being gracious, and it, allowing other people sometimes to make communication errors or say things which are not culturally polite. But so, for example, I mean, the British and the Americans, etc. We will tend to speak much more directly about something, particularly the Americans, maybe. All right. This, this kind of thing. Well, actually, I just come up with an idea yeah. or a、yeah. question. Do you think eye contact would be polite or implied for American people? American people. It dep- of course, a lot of it comes down to、yeah. the individual. But generally speaking, my experience is Western people make more eye contact than, particularly amongst different social levels, than.、Um, Than people in the Far East, Asian people. So, if I'm lecturing or teaching at a university, I expect my students, if I speak with them, to make eye contact with me. And if they don't, I think they're doing. They're not listening. That would be my natural response as a Westerner. Well, during Zoom University. Zoom University. Zoom University. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it can be quite hard to get eye contact for, I mean, for foreign students because、yeah. you always got Zoom at university, and someone or most of them may wouldn't like to open their camera or turn on their camera. Then how are you gonna get eye contact while you're teaching? I think often if I'm speaking to a student directly, I will ask for, I will expect them to turn on their camera,、um, or. Yeah, at least to respond. But when I teach online, on my laptop, there's a camera, and I will actually look down the lens of the camera. I won't look at the students' faces, but I will make eye contact with the camera, like this. And、um, yeah, I think that that's quite important. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Then even students didn't turn on their camera. Do you feel you are so serious, and you you are so you just want to require them to turn on their camera? Yeah, well, that's why that that's and for us that would be normal that you would interact face to face in that manner. But I mean, a lot of the time when people teach online, they don't ask, but they ask for some f- recognition sometimes. A lot of teachers. Yeah, for example.、Yeah. Mm. I think、uh, that also depends which part of China,、uh, which part of students you are in. For example, I would suspect that in some Eastern culture, students won't turn on the camera, but in Western culture, students prefer to turn on the camera、yeah. to show their attention, to show they are listening to you. Yeah, I would say Western students would do that more、right. in that context. And I mean, when we've had business meetings in the West, everybody has a camera on. Has to. Well, it's just normal.、All、we、right. would think, why is that one's camera not on? We wouldn't think they're being rude. We just think there's something wrong with their camera, or think, oh, I wonder why they're not turning their camera on. And sometimes, you know, I understand maybe they didn't put their makeup on, or they have a big spot on their face, and they're a bit embarrassed, or something like that. But、so. having grace and being gracious. All right. It's quite important. In Western culture, do you mean that people just subconsciously turn on their camera while during a business meeting? Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, we would quite... automatically do that. That would be quite common, unless now if there's thirty, forty people in one meeting, it will slow the 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 <laughs> yeah, it will slow the whole thing down. So then people would turn it on when they want to speak. Yeah, quite reasonable. Yeah. yeah. So、um, that kind of thing. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and feel free to share your comments below.